Hello and welcome to Lynchburg Live. I'm your host, Linda Smith. The Lynchburg Academy of Fine Arts is a center for creativity, imagination, entertainment, and ed education. My guests tonight are Tanya Fishhoff, Director of Marketing, and Dr. Larry Redmond, a member of the Board of Trustees of the Academy uh, of Fine Arts. They'll be telling us tonight about the Academy and some of the wonderful activities and opportunities associated with it. Tanya, Larry, glad to have you tonight. Thank nice to be. you. As we begin, and either, either of you all can answer <laughs> these questions, uh, would you please give us a little bit of background on the Academy? Well, I can answer that. Um, the Academy basically came from a merger of the, uh, the uh, Fine Arts Center, which, um, as you know, was located across from the Lynchburg General Hospital. Right and um, had been in existence for many years. When the uh, Lynchburg General needed to expand and build new parking areas, they went to the Fine Arts Academy and made an offer to buy the property. And the uh, board of the Fine Arts Center looked at various uh, possibilities and met with the Historic Academy of Music Theater board, and eventually they did what I think has turned out to be uh, the perfect thing, and that is they merged the two the two organizations and decided to move it all to the downtown area, and that was uh, in 2003. And as a result of that, the money they obtained from selling that property went into renovating the warehouse theater and the uh, galleries that are currently in operation. And subsequently, uh, the Academy was able to open the new facility in a big gala that took place on New Year's Eve of 2004. So the current facility has been in operation since 2004 as a merged Academy of Fine Arts that gives uh, remembrance to the old Fine Arts Academy and to the Academy of Music Theater. It blends the two names and blends the two operations. So it's one big group now. So it's one big group now. And and your location, your primary location, is at the well, Academy Theater? we're on Main Theater. Street uh, at the location. There's a one and a half acres that uh, includes the Historic Theater, the Warehouse Theater, and the adjacent uh, old gas building that's being used as office and galleries now. All right, I'm just curious, when was the original Academy of Music built? Do you know? Well, I do. Uh, oh. The original Academy <laughs> of Music opened on February 1st uh, 2000, uh, not 2000, but 1905. And uh, it was a grand building with grand shows that lasted until the fire which uh, was in uh, 2011. And the building didn't burn completely, but almost completely. 1911. Did I say two, uh, 1911? Okay. We're just geared I toward the 2000s now. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and amazingly enough, the citizens were able to rebuild it in a year. And so that it reopened in 1912 not 2012, right. <laughs> uh, almost, uh, well, 99 years ago. So um, it reopened in its, well, present form in um, 1912. So next year will be the 100th anniversary. That's fabulous. It continued to operate until about 1928. And in 1928, no more stage shows took place in the theater and it became a movie house. And it lasted until 1958 when it closed and has been in various states of repair right. since 1958. Now when the current um, Academy um, of Fine Arts took it over, there had been a group prior to that who had done some restoration work on it. And then, beginning in 2004, there was a big effort made, and about $5 million altogether has been spent to 
rebuild the fly tower, rebuild the stage, shore up the uh, facilities that were in some instances uh, crumbling and, and unstable. Uh, so now that's where we are. It's just a beautiful building. Well, it is a beautiful building. And uh, we're in the last stage of restoring it to its original quality. I was going to ask you this later, but I'm going to ask you this quickly. What are, do you have further renovation plans for this? Do you want to tell us about it? Well, we do. <laughs> uh, there is, uh, there have been three stages. The first stage was to do the warehouse theater and the galleries and the, um, the gas building, to renovate all those so that we have a theater, we have galleries, uh, we have um, rooms for rental and parties and that sort of thing, but we don't have the restored theater. So the stage two was then to rebuild the fly tower and the, and the stage of the theater and make it a secure building. So stage three, or phase three, will be the next phase that we're getting ready to embark into, which is to restore the theater to its original state. Great. That's great. And it's something for the city to look forward to, I think. Absolutely. Tanya. Yes. <laughs> tell me about what your job involves as director of marketing. Of course, of course. Well, the basic foundation of the Academy, our mission statement, says that the Academy of Fine Arts, anchored by the historic of music, Historic Academy of Music Theater, as Larry was talking about, serves to educate, engage, and um, oh, I forgot the other enlighten. E. Enlighten. Enlighten <laughs> uh, the individuals of all ages of Central Virginia in the performing and visual arts. So, as director of marketing, I serve to promote and inform the public about all those programs, including the performances, the arts education classes, galleries, rentals, uh, special events, everything that the Academy does. I get to have all the fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun job. Yes, it you is. Know, and, and just researching it, and I think people, when they think about the Academy, they tend to think about theatrical presentations, mm -hmm. you know, it, that's the first thing they think of, but you all do so much more. And, you know, I was really interested in that. You want to tell us a little bit about yes. what you do? Well, we do, do do the performances, but along with that, like I mentioned, we also have the arts education classes that um, all ages can take classes at the Academy of Fine Arts, and we have classes in all different kinds of disciplines. And um, then you also have the galleries for First Fridays, and we're open to see the different gallery exhibits monthly, so 9 to 5 during the week, and then Saturdays by appointment. Then, of course, First Fridays in the First evening. Fridays is always a, mm -hmm. a big event. It's the opening of the new, the new exhibit every month, so that's very large as well. Then we have the Pottery Studio, which is in hand with the arts education classes, and then our rentals for weddings or special events, meetings, really anything that any organization, for profit or nonprofit, would like to um, rent it for, or even families and social gatherings. And um, then the Pottery Studio, as I mentioned, and those are just our, our in-house programs. You really have something for everybody. We do. I mean, all age groups. You know, I, I was just amazed. You know, <laughs> like, That's even in the mission statement, is mm -hmm. that young, old, rich, poor, uh, no matter what your line of work, we're trying to have something. We do have something for just about everybody. I think, you know, I think that's great. And that's the mission. Well, before we go any farther, would you like to tell me what's planned for the holiday season? Of course. We have a lot of programs happening this holiday season. Right now we have our cash and carry art sale, which goes through December 17th, and that's pottery, glass, fiber, oil paintings, really anything art, art purchases that you would like to buy. Um, I think gifts start at $10, I believe, uh, but that sale is up in the Arts and Education lobby until December 17th. So that's our big holiday gift sale going on right now. We have two holiday performances, a Fascination Christmas, which is December 10th through 11th. It is a Saturday night at 7.30 p.m. and then a Sunday at 2 p.m. And that is actually a community choral group That's that began at the Fine Arts Center prior to the merger in 2003. And I think they actually just celebrated their 20th anniversary as a group. And so they're presenting a holiday uh, program.
program on December 10th and 11th. We also have Dancing with Strings and Christmas Things, which is December 17th and 18th, which is a beautiful collaboration of string instruments and dancers in a really festive program that also includes children singing for the Cantate Choir. So that's going to be a fantastic program. And then last but not least, <laughs> I know, on Parade Day in Lynchburg, which is December 4th, that's a Sunday, we have a lot of programs happening at the Academy, lots of classes that you can take as an individual, as a child, or families. And so you can come and make Parade Day ornaments and things of the sort. And I believe we're actually going to have some holiday people there, so possibly a Santa. Oh, cool. <laughs> of course. It wouldn't be the holidays without it. So that is December 4th, and those four events are our holidays for this year. That, that sounds just wonderful. Yes, And, and fun again, filled. something for everybody. It is. And sometimes we worry that the name Fine Arts scares away people. Right. And it's not the intent at all. We do have fine arts, we have all kind of arts, and uh, we want people to, we want everybody to find something that they like at the Academy, and I think it's uh, very easy to do. Mm -hmm. How often do you have plays and theatrical performances, sort mm -hmm. of average? This year we have 10 performances, and those are just during our theater season, but we also have um, summer theater as well, which is for children and youth. Um, but last year I believe we had seven performances, so each year it varies according to uh, what we bring in and whether it's local community theater or professional shows that we're bringing from out of town. That was another question I wanted to ask you. Do you have professional people, actors that come, uh, people who are well known as well as local people who are, are the actors. Well, I think we got a great lineup for this coming year. One I'm looking forward to is the <laughs> Blues Brothers. Oh, yes. Oh, cool. I mean, it's not going to be John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd, but you won't know that it's not them <laughs> when they're up there. Um, and it's actually so, sanctioned by um, John Aykroyd and the Belushi that's estate. Wonderful. Okay. Or Dan so Aykroyd, it's the, um, it, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm sure it'll sell out. And so you better get your tickets now. That's right. They <laughs> already be sold out. I, don't know. <laughs> I know a Lynchburg physician who will be excited about that because the Blues Brothers are, you know, something but that he really is. I might make a point, and that is that it'll be in the Warehouse Theater, which would be a great place for it, but it only seats about 200, I think. Now, 272. Where is that? 275. Where is the Warehouse Theater? The Warehouse Theater is um, behind the historic theater. It's actually and at the corner of Commerce and Fifth Street. Right. There okay. You go. I didn't remember the exact <laughs> street. Um, and uh, so it's a, it's a great facility, but it only seats 275. With the restored theater, we'll be able to have acts like the Blues, Blues Brothers, but that seats about 800 people. So we can have more people see these performances. We can also have bigger shows that won't fit into the smaller uh, venue that we currently have. So we do need a bigger venue for bigger shows and uh, maybe uh, Broadway productions and things of that nature that you can't really stage in a small theater. Right. Now, when you do these productions, is it an open call for local actors? Can they come and audition? For the community productions, right. yes, it is. Anyone can audition, and we have information on our auditions tab on our website, academyfinearts.com. We usually open with a community production and close with a community production. And we already opened with Babes in Arms, which was a collaboration with Lynchburg College. And then we're closing this season with Hello, Dolly, which is very exciting. And when will that be? That is in May. It's the 4th through the 12th, and audition information will be on the website probably in March I would imagine and so that's open for everyone and our website gives more details about what kind of roles there are to fill. Could you give us sort of a ballpark figure about the cost of a ticket? Certainly. Actually for this season all of our tickets are below $30 for that's our performances which is fantastic. Like Larry was saying bringing in a lot of big names is very expensive so it's wonderful that we can offer our community some programs that are so reputable for a very affordable price. Right. And then um, the average season ticket for adults is 23 For senior citizens, it's $19. And for students, it's 13 And you just so, show a student ID. That's wonderful. You all have brought some really interesting pictures. <laughs> so Phil, if you'll put the pictures up on the screen, we'll get Larry and Tanya to tell us what they are. This is of our production.
Congratulations. This is 42nd Street, and that happened in 2009. This is of a young student in our arts education classes. I believe this was painting or drawing at the time. And our classes are different lengths of time. They can be one, uh, just a one workshop, or they can be four, eight, or 12 weeks. And the fees vary according to what the class is and the lengths of, lengths of time for that class. But we have classes for all ages, and this just happens to be a young student. This is my favorite. This is our <laughs> pre-ballet class. Uh, we offer many dance classes for younger students and of all ages at the, at the same time. And then um, for pre-ballet, the young students will take their classes here and then they'll later go to dance at a Dance with Mori Mori, which is a collaboration of the Academy. And I might add that um, children are a big emphasis for the Academy. We made that as one of our real priorities to have a lot of programs for children and where children can be involved. There are a lot of children's shows that uh, there was a balloon, what was the balloon? <laughs> balloon John circus. Cassidy's Balloon Freak, which was actually yeah, a yes. show from Vegas, a professional show Wonderful. we brought in. So children are a big emphasis in the Academy. This is a pottery sale, much very similar to the cash and carry sale that's happening now through December 17th. So lots of different pottery pieces and artwork for purchase. Uh, this is Dancing with Strings that happened, I believe this was one or two years ago. And this was just a general Dancing with Strings. So this Dancing with Strings on Christmas things that's happening now is very similar to this, but with the Christmas theme. This is in our gallery spaces. As I mentioned, our gallery artwork changes monthly, and First Fridays is when we open that, uh, 5 to 8 p.m. every First Friday. And this is of a young student enjoying the different artwork for that month. And then this is also our gallery spaces. The theme each month is very different. We might have all photography one time, right. all oils and watercolors. It just varies, and the the galleries are actually booked a minimum of a year out in advance. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And if any of your listeners, viewers, have not been to First Friday, it, it would be a great opportunity to get in, involved with the Academy or to interact with the Academy. There's uh, wine and other drinks served and usually some refreshments as well. And um, there's usually a good lively crowd. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. It's live music as well and it That's is great. free to yeah, right. the public. This is the Hot 8 Brass Band that came for a production, I believe, two years ago. So this is just a variance of what we might offer in our season. You know, the music, it made me think of Gabrielle Giffords mm -hmm. and how music has played such an important role in her coming back and being able to regain her speech. And, mm -hmm. you know, I just think music is such an important thing. Sure. It is. It is intricate to what the Academy is involved in, certainly. This is the theater as it is today. And obviously it um, needs restoring. As you see, there are um, some seats that are available just for show in the middle. Uh, I believe there are three balconies, but you can only see two, I think. Right. Um, and there are as many seats in the balconies as there are on the main level. And this theater is a theater that's known for near-perfect acoustics and near-perfect uh, sign, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, line of sight mm -hmm. uh, from just about any seat. So it's uh, a unique theater in that regard. At one time there were six theaters like this in Virginia and they've all been torn down but guess which one hasn't been torn down? Ours. That's right. We are the last remaining. So, yes. so um, it's, it's still under restoration inside? Mm-hmm. This is the current state. Uh, that is phase three, the aesthetics um, of the interior. It, where, you're, where the camera is, is the stage in the fly tower. And that has been restored and basically ready. What, where, what the camera's looking at uh, is the part that still needs to be restored. And that's what you'll be hearing about in the next year or two. Uh, we're going to be having a campaign to raise the money to do that. Great. This is of a teen involved in our arts education classes. Of course, they're outside, which is part of our programs. We offer classes indoors, but then we'll also go on location as well. 
to offer really practical learning experiences for our students. This is in our pottery studio. We have a, a, a fantastic pottery studio that teaches so many different classes. And this is one of our, actually I think her name is Thelma Tweary. And mm. she is, yes. <laughs> one of the Tweary? <laughs> yes. Oh good. And she is making a beautiful piece there completely out of clay. Very talented. The Tweary's are a talented bunch. Mm -hmm. This is a special event. This is our wine classic, and actually, you can see oh, Mr. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Redmond there in the corner. We offer different fundraisers during the year. In the spring coming up, will be Pallets and Pallets, which is in March. I understand that the academy is involved in collaborative efforts with other groups in town. I, and organizations within the community. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Certainly. Well, as I mentioned, Babes in Arms happened in October, and that was a collaboration with Lynchburg College. And then we also have um, the Three Little Pigs coming up, and that is happening this upcoming March, and that is a collaboration with Opera on the James. And then we have lots of collaborations that we do with the city schools involving bringing our arts programs into the schools where students sometimes won't get the opportunity to enjoy the fine arts or any arts in general. And so that is a collaboration there that we're able to expose children to the arts realm in a day when arts programs are, are dropping out of the schools. So that is very important. Um, we also, like I mentioned with the pre-ballet, the students will take the early ballet classes here at the academy, and then they'll go on to dance, dance with Maury Maury, and that's Central Virginia Ballet, and so that's a, as well another collaboration in the dance realm of the academy. Wonderful. It's, it's like easing children into giving, giving them a, a basis in the fine arts sure. and making it fun for them so that they don't feel like they're being pushed into something that's intellectually above their heads. That's the beauty and, you know, of our, our classes. They gave you, you know, short take classes for someone that hasn't experienced that before and wants to get to know a little bit about it to decide if they're going to like it. And then um, as you grow in the classes, they of course become of a higher skill, but there's beginners for all ages. So even adults can take a beginner class. And that's great. You know, you said something about the choral group at Christmas. Yes. Uh, and this made me think of it. We know someone, a, a young woman who's challenged Mm -hmm. But she has a lovely voice, and she's been able. She's been singing with the group yes. now for several years, and you know, while she is not as functional as most people on a day-to-day -day level, this gives her an opportunity to excel at some place where she is a special person and brings her talents. And you know, I think that that's just another good thing about this particular organization that it offers something for some for everybody. It really is for everyone. That's definitely our goal. All right, tell me about the galleries and studios. I thought everything was just in one area, but then in doing research I found out that you know yes. there's a, a tremendous outreach to the community in different mm -hmm. areas. Yes, we actually have three um, gallery spaces that are actually on the Academy's facility campus. That's the Art Up Front Gallery, which is right when you enter our facility at 600 Main Street. That's the gallery that you first enter. And then the Ann White Academy Gallery. That's where all the food and the music <laughs> is during First Friday. That's where that's I'd right. like to go. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and then down the hill idea. in the Arts Education Building, we also have a gallery there. We also have sal satellite galleries. And the locations right now that those are featured in are Montana Plains and Windhurst, Magnolia Foods, Flint po Property Group, and John Stewart Walker Realtors on Old Forest Road. That art changes regularly as well. But that's a nice opportunity for our galleries sure. to get into the community at the same time. That's wonderful. Now, I understand that you won the honor of being the best art studio we did. Uh, by Lynchburg Living Magazine, and I think that's terrific. Yes, yes, that's actually voted on by locals, so thank you. And we've actually won that award for several, several years now, so it's quite fantastic for us. And it's a recognition of our space and all the very reputable and changing artwork that we are able to display in our spaces. Now, getting your kids, getting kids into the programs, how does one go about doing that? 
You'll find our information online at academyfinearts.com, and we actually have a classes tab at the top. It's a very large picture, so you won't be able to miss it. We have classes that change quarterly, and so we're actually just about to announce our winter classes. And we also announce those classes in the news in advance, and that is going to be an insert in the news in advance on December 8th. So you can breeze through that and see right. what kind of classes, according to age group, that you might be interested in, and then you can go online to register. And you have a website. Yes, academyfinearts.com. Okay, and um, there's something else I wanted to say, but one thing I, I, I need to ask Tanya about this. Um, I get email alerts from the academy on a regular basis, oh, good, so good. I know exactly what's happening. Um, how do uh, the viewers get those? sign up to get the email alert so they can know what's happening. There's actually multiple ways that you can connect with the Academy. One is our website, then you can always call us at 434-846-8499 and then we have our e-blasts which is what Larry is talking about and if you go online you can sign up for those and those are bi-weekly emails that tell you everything that's coming up at the Academy and then of course all our social media Facebook, Twitter and we have our blog which is at right. wordpress.com but the e-alerts are really good yes. yep. because uh, if you see something you like wow and that's next week yep, I enjoy getting them uh -huh. and if you don't why well, you can just make it go away. We're totally out of time. It's okay. amazing how fast this goes. <laughs> Thank you so much for Thank coming. You, Thank you. I Thank really you. appreciate you telling fun. my audience you know, about things they may not have known it's about the fun. Academy. All right, I hope you've enjoyed uh, learning a little bit more about the Lynchburg Academy of Fine Arts. My next show will feature Lynch's Landing, the commun Lynchburg Community Market, and the exciting holiday activities that will be going on downtown. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Good night.